CIOs don't usually find themselves in the hot seat for spending too much on their applications, but if the website goes down on Black Friday or during an open enrollment period, then the CIO is in trouble. The amount of waste I see and the lack of transparency in tech usage and consumption is astonishing. Any developer on any given day can log into their account, start using resources and spending money, but they may forget, leave it running, or deploy the wrong type of resources, further piling onto costs. So CIOs and finance need better visibility into all of that. The what, the how, the where, and the why. Plus the ability to act on those insights to better plan and provision. And that's where FinOps comes in. My name's Bill Lobig, and I'm the Vice President of IT Automation Product Management at IBM. FinOps is a framework that helps companies maximize the business value of cloud with data and financial accountability. It breaks down barriers between teams and gives everyone a common language. It also empowers developers with the tools that allow them to understand and optimize how they spend in accordance with what they're trying to achieve. FinOps is broken down into three phases, inform, optimize, and operationalize. AI and generative AI can help with each phase, offering speed, pattern detection, and natural language interactions, all of which can be a game changer for FinOps. The inform phase of FinOps is about empowering stakeholders with the information they need to make data-driven, cost-effective decisions around cloud usage. Gen AI helps by giving you a better understanding of how applications are consuming resources and services, so you can better tag the costs to those applications. You can get better forecasts, you can benchmark, all of which give you better visibility, because you can't manage what you can't see, right? You can also use a conversational experience to help understand spend trajectories and anomalies without having to sift through dashboards. In the optimized phase of FinOps, users take what they learned in the first phase to find additional savings. It's about detecting how technology is being used versus what's being allocated. You can suspend what isn't being used, or you can right-size it, upsizing as well as downsizing. And Gen AI can help you get insights into spend by, again, using natural language to ask questions. It can also help detect patterns and trends, especially when the spend is out of line with expectation. And with those spend insights and that increased confidence, your budgeting and forecasting can get more accurate and reliable helping to ensure you don't over-budget or overspend. Finally, in the operate phase of FinOps, you begin to automate your FinOps practice while also building a culture of continuous improvement. While Optimize is about the technology you're using, Operate is more about a culture and a way of working that focuses on value and outcomes. So you can take the insights you've gained using AI and see if, for example, there's seasonality. And that kind of pattern detection is pretty crude without AI but you can use Gen AI and other technologies to bring those very granular views to how budget is actually being spent. It all goes back to the concept of understanding value and total cost. An IT leader can demonstrate exactly what they're spending on and why. They can point out how the budget for software licenses and labor is directly tied to IT operations outcomes, like faster mean time to detect and reduce downtime, which translates into greater resiliency and higher customer satisfaction. They can prove that they've spent money in a responsible way and that they should retain that level of funding because it makes the business run better. Ultimately then, FinOps and AI give businesses the opportunity to do more and go further than they ever could before.